Targeting, okay, one of my favorite things to talk about. Let's discuss who you should be reaching this Black Friday with your Facebook ads. The slide is very dense. I've got a bunch of goodness here to go through with you. Retargeting will be huge. Kind of like I had mentioned before in a couple videos prior, you really want to see what you can do to beef up your warm audience right now because these will be some of your biggest fans with your Black Friday ads. I will be retargeting to my clients' Instagram and Facebook engagers. Their Instagram and Facebook video viewers. So if we were running any kind of video view ads or if they put reels out there, you know, if you get 100 people, 200 people, 30,000 people watching your reels, whatever your numbers look like, you can retarget specifically to them. So I would greatly encourage you to do that. Retargeting to web visitors from the last 180 days. Facebook lets us kind of, for all these windows, we can do up to 180 days. So I would encourage you to make that as big as possible. If you have an email list, retarget to them. And anyone who purchased from you last year, whether it be last Black Friday or last year, again, you get the idea. Anybody who's warm, retarget to them. All right, next, a lookalike to past Black Friday purchasers. Let me chat about this. If you ran ads last Black Friday, and I guess even if you didn't, if you had at least 100 people who purchased from you during a given period of time, you can create a lookalike. What Facebook will do is they're going to say like, oh, hey, we know that these were engaged shoppers of this age, demographic, purchase behavior, etc." They're gonna take that group of people that you give them and they're gonna create an audience that looks similar and will likely to perform similarly. <clears throat> so if you did run Ads Black Friday last year or if you did have at least 100 people within a short period of time purchasing, Upload that list to Facebook and they'll create an audience that, again, will perform similarly. The reason I like grabbing this is, and I even I even do this actually for Christmas. I have some clients that have like really specific Christmas items and we will grab people who purchased Christmas items last year and we'll say, Facebook, create an audience that's likely to perform similarly because I want more Christmas crazy shoppers. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, caveat again, there have to be 100 people on this list for Facebook to take it, unfortunately. So if you're sitting here like, well, Jenny, that doesn't apply to me. I did not have 100 purchasers. Maybe my shop is newer. That's okay. Scrap this one. There are plenty of other options. It's not like you're hitting you know, a dead end and there's nothing we can do. Here are a couple different options if you don't have a solid audience to create a lookalike off of. And you could just do a lookalike to purchasers too. It doesn't have to be Black Friday, but Black Friday is just that high intent. I'm ready for a deal and I will jump right away kind of purchaser. So that's why I like doing that if I can. All right, you don't have past purchasers or an email list to retarget to or to create a lookalike off of. Here is what I'm gonna have you do. <clears throat> Excuse me, go ahead and do broad targeting. Broad targeting works extremely well for my clients these days. I will be running some of this for clients during Black Friday. What we will be doing is literally setting your country. I have uh, Australia and United States clients. So if you're in the US, I would just do US wide. Maybe you're looking for women only ages 18 to 65. Do that and let Facebook do the rest. And it sounds crazy because you're like, well, Jenny, how do I even know that they'd have any interest in my product? Trust me when I say this is working very well for my clients these days across the board, across niches. So I would do some kind of broad targeting if you don't have any of these. And even if you do, if you've got the budget to play around, I'd consider it. You can also go with interest-based audiences. These used to be my favorite under the sun, and now they're not as much my favorite because oftentimes lookalikes and broad targeting is outperforming it, but you can also try interest-based audiences. So let's go back to the outdoor company example. If you know that you are looking for people who maybe shop, also shop at REI or Patagonia, you can type in those interests and create an audience with interests similar to what you think your shoppers might have. All right, so I wasn't going to include this originally, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I will include here a link for you to watch how to create these custom audience videos. This wasn't originally part of kind of my modules when I was laying out uh, this little mini course, if you will. However, I do have a tutorial, happy to give it to you, and I will show you how to create all of these ones here, basically how to upload your email list and create a lookalike and all that. So feel free to click and watch that if that's something that you're not sure how to do.